and everything, but you have to cover it up here because the water might go in there. So we got to cover that up, and I'll take this one off. I'll cut it towards the roof line. Just above the flashing. But they got some. They do have waterproofing under that deck. If you look here. Yeah, they do have waterproofing here, so looks like it here, like the membrane here. They must have had it anyways because it was, the rain was probably still going, I don't think. Gotta figure how. I'm gonna get the inside clean first, and then when that's clean, we're gonna start taking things down. Quite the job. So many nails, especially in the top piece here. I have to put a harness on and stuff and figure out where it'll tie off. Okay, just keep continuing here. How do you deal with that? Fifty nails, one spot. Okay. And, uh, put the harness on right now. I'm ripping uh, the sub balcony part. Pretty freaky shit here, I'll tell you. It's kind of just all was just hanging here. Surprising it blown over in the wind. That's why it's all con condemned here because the stuff is not uh, fire coated. So you gotta be all can't be wood. It's gonna be all metal. So. leave it because otherwise it's just hanging here it's all shit got it okay. see how the old went off here too it's all unstable. Just hang here. Need the bar? Yep. Yeah. This, this, this deck is totally gone. hanging here Ugh. unbelievable that's why you have to wear harnesses I'll tell ya hey some stuff might fall down Okay, that's it. Uh, let me see if I can get this one off here. I don't want it to fall down. Oh, just, just all, it's all rotted here. This gutter is just even hanging here too. This one seems pretty solid. Oh, not really. I thought it was solid. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna clean it up a bit here. Oh, that's it. Okay, this is demolition. Look at that view. Yeah, look at that view, guys. Beautiful. 
Okay, pass the broom, I'll just clean up a little bit. Okay, you're done there. Give me just a little thing I can put it in. Yep. People are wondering why, you know, you have to evict a person. Well, if you can't, how do you do repairs, you know? Places are full of asbestos. They got to be properly dealt with. And the people live in the building, how can you do that? I'm saying, you know, you have to, sooner or later, someone's got to vacate eventually. Also, the building will be condemned. When it's condemned, then no one has a chance to live here. So, hey, it's done deal. Strip the snow. Well, we started stripping, but a little busy getting to film there because it's just way too busy. Original shag rug, look at this. 70s glasses mixed with shag rug. Holy fuck, eh? 70s glasses here. I'll take them. I love those. I do. Okay, yeah. That's you hilarious. Hmm. John Lennon. No. Okay, we got the cabinets out. Final cleanup here now. Uh, washroom, we took the sink out. We'll leave the toilet for now, he said. Good there. Yeah, front balcony's off. Once we have it really clean here, then we're gonna head go ahead there and uh, start working on a rail. Start cutting the rail, and then we'll end up building. You know, in the poly around after. We'll put some poly here, and then I'll cut this roof line. Put a piece of poly. We're gonna cut this across here, take the landing off. We'll take the rail first, then the landing, and work our way down. Just take each step down. And then when the runs are uh, off, I'll sawzall it. Drop those. Pretty tricky here. And it's really kind of cheaply made, so. Well, a fair amount of, it's gonna be a lot of lumber, it's probably gonna be three loads probably by the time we're right here. Okay, it's looking just so much. Well, at least the weather's nice. Okay, clean, clean up here. I'm gonna start, uh, already starting the balcony down already on the other side. That's ripped out, sink's gone. Just gonna secure this uh, area here because there's a renter below here, so it can't come up and down here now, so. So make sure everything is going to be secure. Make sure I'm hooked up. Just going to make sure the door is secure. There's no way you could close this door later if the wind blows it open. after okay so I got the rail off here I'm gonna cut the deck here and then try to disassemble everything all the way down but before I do that I'll cut the deck 
I gotta build just something here that keeps it kind of waterproof a little bit. I'm gonna wrap this around. There's a membrane under here so that the water will drain but the edges so we have to secure that part. Okay. We continue here. The guys went for lunch. While I finish this up here. And they'll come back and they'll start loading the truck up. I have a lot of material down there. There's gonna be probably two loads all this at least. For sure, maybe even more. Okay, we'll continue. Working on two and more. I already glued the, the frame already, so it's pretty sticky. I'm just going to apply this on here. So we got a rental downstairs here, so don't want uh, it to leak down there. So we're just going to seal this up here. So we put spray glue here. But I might still put something else here. A couple little strips or something. Then I'm gonna wrap a bit of poly around two by four. And then put a couple little things here and then poly here, then I'll cut it. Here's waterproofing here, I'm not sure how good it is. So it's a little out of protection to be safe. Actually I could probably just even get away with it waterproofing or just putting poly here but uh, I might just let it overhang well foot either way or something we'll see just uh, they're moving out the end of the month anyways so they don't really care about water damage but they're worried about tenant that's all okay we put a little tarp here we fasten it and when we take this off we'll put another cleat here and then I sealed the door off the light. So uh, there is a membrane on this deck here, but you know, it's gonna protect the sides, right? So it'll be a little bit better to cut this deck along here and pull the slats up. I'm not sure what's really, how it's being held here, but. It's gonna, it's gonna, I'm going to take the slats off for sure and then I'm going to see how the structure is if it looks like it's a problem I'll have to find a better time point maybe but I actually got hooks I got uh, roofing hooks which I might use those maybe into somewhere here yeah that's what I'll probably do okay We'll continue some more, so it's a lot of material here, I'll tell you. Okay, we're working our way down. I want to maybe, maybe put a 2 by 4 here, Dale. Just on the plastic canal. So I'll just a 2 by 4 and a couple of screws. Okay, stand by. Deck off. We, uh, I had to hook up to that section there by the window. I have to make a makeshift scaffold and now I want to cut this beam here. How, how long is the two by four there? Okay. Good. Cut this beam here.
Oh, this side beam is hanging already. Uh, it's hanging on a two by four there. Why don't you take that two by four? Yeah, off? I know. Let us hang. You want me to just peel off the two by four? No, I'll cut a little more. This. Yeah. Stay back. Hopefully, we can break the windows here. Looks like we're. Uh, I guess it looks like we're, we know what we're doing, huh? Yeah. Hard to believe. Yeah. See now you fall down the stairs, you're not gonna die, right? See you'll, the railings hold you up. Yeah. Even though they're rotted to crap. That's like cutting a tree down. It was. I bet your shoulders hurting now. No, but uh, we gotta deal this beam here and then. The, we're gonna take this, take the deck off completely as much as we can. We'll have to do the handrails too. Well, these will come off. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, stand by. I covered that up there, the deck. It's just temporary. It's just to keep the water out and maybe keep keep the building from getting too too uh, rotted more. Let's see all this is here. Okay, so now we're gonna take. Yo, know, I need you to hold that big beam. Go halfway. But we'll save these because these are something we can. This one here is split all the way down. The no, but like if we need some sort of bracing or something for this job, not not I need it. Okay, one second. Let me lift it up. No, you gotta hold it. Now lift it down. Here, watch your hand. Just lower it down on the edge of the rail for now, and leave it if in case we need it for something. It's treated. Like I would just put it right there. Like lean it down that way for now. Handrail, you stupid safety line always in the way. But what are you gonna do, right? Oh. Oh, heavy. That's the nice stuff. It's treated. Look how nice that is. Let's not damage it, but just keep it standing there in case we need it for something here. Yeah. Okay, let's oh. continue. I got the rail off now. I'm just gonna brace that because the bottom is rotten. So we're gonna take that deck apart as much as we can. See how tricky that one might be. It's pretty high, so. It's got cross braces, which is good. So if I take it apart completely, and then what it might do is brace those other two to the side of the house. And then we'll take the braces off, knock that down later. That's what we're going to do. We'll brace either side of the post like this and like here. And we'll hold this pillar up when I take it, all the decking away. There'll be two by four standing there only. And then I'll take this down, pull this out. And then after all, we'll just knock that two ends down. And the lot bottoms there won't be so bad. We're taking the runs off here. I like they put a deck over a plywood deck. It's all slimy. <sighs> Call when you work. Work hard labor, get tired. That's why I don't do a lot of scrapping when I work. Go ahead. Just because you get just too tired. So, take the deck off, the framing of the deck. Then we'll take the runs off. Same thing we did last time. Take this, boom. That one's a piece of cake, that deck. This one's a little bit, still pretty high. But uh, we'll get it. It's frozen too here. Yeah, that's dirty 
It was made by a. This deck was made by an ironworker, not a carpenter, so it's not the best. This has served itself. Okay, I lived in this suite up pretty close to 40 years, you were saying. I think you said 38 years. It's a pretty long time. Pretty long time. Put waterproofing on here too. Okay. I'm gonna take the plywood off this way. I can see a joint there. I only trust the stairway. It's not much. Barely holding here, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Barely holding here. So it's coming, anyways. Situation. Just one second, and lock this one, this bracing out too. Just take the next one off. Take the next one off. I think. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we got it down to this section here. Quite the workout, I'll tell you. So it's just a little shaky now, but that's fine. We're just gonna brace up the two here, the two big pillars. Um, won't be too bad now. Okay. We'll brace these two ones to the house, those big ones. We'll take everything down towards the side of it. And then uh, that means the stair will come down and then pillars will go that way after take all this down the way we just did it so we can cut it down more it's not so high it's not so scary okay makes the house look so much nicer too that's the big thing is makes it so much nicer with an ugly staircase like that okay stay tuned okay now we're just gonna run some garbage back to the truck you know, to make it sure that we can take it all in one load so put as much as we can in my truck it's cold it's getting cold now cold in the morning cold at night yeah at least the hard part's done like i said we just braced those two pillars this will be all taken down all this, those bill pillars will bring this way after the staircase, take it apart, boom, 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 home free basically. We'll cut that pillar, the long one, we'll cut that too, just so it's such an all along piece. Cut it, level the stair, take the handrail off, take one stair at a time off, like I did the other one, pull the two sides out, both sides, that's it. Pull the main stringers off, both sides, that's it. Yeah, it's all Mickey Mouse, but it did hold very tough. 